What to buy and where to buy it this payday. Hi guys, so why are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Now this is my second payday pickups. We had the first one last month looking at some of the top things, the things that are on my wish list, my coveted items, the things that I really want. How many more ways can I say this? But essentially a wish list of grooming, style, new releases, and some real sort of luxury lifestyle pieces. Now, everything and more is linked to manforhimself.com, so if you wanna see more of these and some select pieces that you won't see in the video, then you can head there. Now, first on my list is a brand new collaboration between two Swedish powerhouses, and that's between singer Robin and Bjorn Borg. The collection that they've quite simply just called RBN is a fusion between Swedish youth culture and streetwear, so it's a real mix of stuff, and actually, not so much my style, but Robin says it can take you from a run into the club. I'm guessing she doesn't sweat that much on a run. From Sweden, back into the UK with British knitwear designer Genevieve Sweeney. Now she set up in 2015 and works only with British mills, so everything has been sourced and created in the UK. Now she does do big chunky knits which are perfect for autumn winter, but the things that I've really picked out here are her socks. You can go for seasonal colorways and buy them as a one-off, or you can go for a subscription box. And also, the key thing that I really love here is you can have your socks monogrammed. Sticking with footwear, and it's a brand new release from Adidas Originals. Now, this is the Continental 80. This became famous and iconic during the 80s as a tennis shoe, but they've now launched new colorways that you can see here. The white with the red and black stripe detailing. I love just a really crisp white sneaker. You can't go wrong and it means you can mix them in with loads of different things, you know, dress it down, or go slightly smarter, maybe not into the office, but slightly smarter like I've done here with a pair of chinos. And guys, I have linked, as ever, everything down below in the description, so you shall find the best price right there. A seasonal color staple for me has always been, and will always be, camel. Now, this is a really neutral hue and tone. It's actually a great transitional color. You know, taking us from the slightly cooler, slash very cold in the UK months, into spring. It's something you can mix easily with darker tones in jeans or trousers and lighter things on top. You know, perfect with a white t-shirt like I've done here or a crisp white shirt. Now I've picked out some of my favorite pieces that I found online here. A pair of River Island camel colored boots. Big fan of Chelsea boots as you know and just in the camel tone I think works so well. And this piece which I think actually is probably my favorite out of all of these camel pieces. A really good chunky jacket which actually can be worn, you know, just over a t-shirt or you could start to layer it over a roll neck and maybe another coat or a hoodie, just depending on the weather. But I love the pocket detailing on it and also the way that it sits just slightly larger on the shoulders. Now moving on to something a little bit more classic in the camo, and this is really just in the detailing of the texture. And this is an overcoat from River Island. I am a big tartan fan, really flying the flag for Scotland here, so this sort of style works perfectly for me. Now guys, as I say, everything is linked in the description below, and there are more camel pieces if you're a camel fan on manforhimself.com. My next payday pickup actually comes as a result of you guys asking so much about these gloves that I was wearing in my Street Style Paris video. They're actually not in stock anymore, I'm sorry, but I have found some really similar ones that I've popped in the description below. And into grooming, if you've been on my product pages recently, you'll have seen that I popped this one up. This is now a desk staple for me. This is a hand salve by British brand Heath. It's nothing sexy, but, well actually hands can be sexy, but this is so nice on the skin. It's not greasy, it's not oily. Quite often I find with a lot of sort of hand creams and hand bams, they just sit so heavy, but this one is such a shout, and it's got the best lavender scent. So it's a big winner from me. Next in grooming, I have got a little piece from Aqua de Parma. Stop rubbing your hands there. You'll remember this from my Aqua de Parma uh, inside their Barbier store, the, the new sort of flagship barber shop. And it is this one. This is the shave oil actually that Jason used, or Jace as we like to call him, used on my skin. But I've been using this at home. I really like it. It's really easy to apply. You'll see here this applicator straight on onto the skin and just really does smooth that shave. But I love the scent, Aqua de Parma smells amazing, and this is just such a great premium product. Sticking with premium products, but going up into our brows, and it's the Tom Ford Brow Definer. Now, I actually did a review on a very similar product from Tom Ford a couple of years ago, 
But this one, I actually just really prefer. You'll see that it's got this sort of wand-like applicator, but this goes on clear. It helps to define the brows and really help to sort of open up your eyes. So if you've got any little unruly hairs, just a bit of this pushing against and it will help to open up your eyes. Still Tom Ford, but we're into fragrance. I did a review of this. It's Tom Ford Beau de Jour. It is a fusier, so a very fresh fragrance. But I'm bringing it into Payday Pickups because it is just being launched in the UK on March the 1st. So if you've been saving your cash, then this is one for you. I will link the product page so you can find the best prices down below. And finally, you know I like to sort of push these luxury items that I definitely can't afford, but I would definitely like. And this one is a hotel stay I had for review and it's Grand Hotel Sonnet. This place was totally insane. Five star luxury boutique hotel, so gorgeous. And also they made their own gin in the grounds. Now, this is a luxury item. It's not gonna be for all of us, but actually I would say Mallorca too was so beautiful. I actually think it's just like a prettier, quieter variety of Ibiza. So if you're aging like me, that is the place you want to go. But guys, again, everything is linked down below. Also on manfromself.com. You can check out my payday pickups and also the ones from last month if you missed them. But if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. Right now, the button is just there. So also more video suggestions right there. And I'll link to that blog post right there. Oh, also social, including Instagram up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.